Okay guys, so for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get gold as quick as possible in Zombies BO6. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of shit for multiplayer, that's why I'm uh, sticking to the Zombies. But before I get started with this video, I'm not going to be using any glitches, I'm not going to be using exploits to show you guys how to get gold. This is mainly going to be like the strategy I've been using. In like one game or two games, you could get a get, uh, gun completely gold if you just play it the way I play it. And you know, another thing I have to say right now, a disclaimer, is that um depending on what map you like switches the way you farm because you know there's liberty falls uh, liberty falls and terminus and depending on which map you like more the strat really does change because i'm not gonna lie terminus for me personally i know this is probably not like objective but uh terminus is low-key easier like end game but liberty falls is low-key easier like throughout like the whole thing except for like game just because i find the three-headed uh aliens to be very annoying but yeah, I'm going to get started with the video. I'm going to show you guys the Liberty Falls method. I'm going to be using a, you know, a gun that the, I don't have um, gold on. I'm just going to be showing you guys the strat. Okay, so before I get started with the gameplay, I do have a couple suggestions to make like the run a whole lot easier and how like to get headshots as fast as possible and just like get as much damage uh, for your headshots. And so some of these are going to just be like, I guess, to make your um, gameplay easier where you could survive a lot longer. But Deadshot Dacry... You quite literally definitely need this if you want to get a lot of headshots very quick and, you know, survive high rounds and still get those headshot kills. Because the thing is that when you get into very high rounds, sometimes it's a lot better to die than it is to continue because it takes you a lot longer to get um, headshot kills just because of how much the zombies scale than it is to just, like, restart the match and, you know, uh, play again. But, uh, yeah, for what, uh, what I'm running specifically for Deadshot Daiquiri is Deadhead and Dead Break. The only other major augment i would probably run on this is maybe dead first for uh snipers and markman marksman rifles because those double your headshot damage but i liked running dead um head because it just increases your critical damage uh you know it's really good because when you're fighting manglers you're fighting bosses your first shot is not going to be doing that much damage you kind of need you know extra oomph onto your uh, guns and so this is what you need and then we have armor piercing because you know the manglers they start spawning non-stop when you get to the higher rounds and so for speed cola i'm running a classic formula and honestly the minor perk doesn't matter honestly they're all kind of dog shit so it really doesn't matter what you run but i like running speed cola because it's speed cola and then for stamina up again honestly the major and minor aren't really that good i'd probably say maybe get stalker to where uh you walk faster while aiming so you can really focus on getting headshots but i don't have a fully leveled up so i'm gonna be using become immune to fall damage Juggernaut, this is definitely one where it will be amazing. This, um, the major upgrade, I say, slightly increased maximum health with Juggernaut. This makes it so good because you actually become an actual tank. And plus, if you run the minor one where it's called uh, the Hardened Plates, that augment is actually insane because that also gives your armor a lot more damage negation. So what this means is you literally take like actual like no damage you could run through like a whole crowd of zombies and still probably not die this is like i mean when you have these upgrades on juggernaut it just makes it a whole lot easier honestly everything else doesn't really matter uh the only uh, will uh, phd popper probably get the slide speed boost and that's basically it ammo mods we're not really going to be using ammo mods mainly because this is going to take away from the headshot kills if you're going to use it, I'm probably going to use it on my footage. Napalm Burst. Napalm's Burst is very good against uh, special elite zombies. The reason why I don't really like running um, ammo mods is because they take away from the headshots. Like, if you get, like, a Brain Rot kill, uh, well, the Brain Rot, like, will actually start killing all their zombies and they're not going to count as headshots. Same thing with literally everything else. And so that's why I wouldn't really suggest that. I'm probably going to run Napalm Burst just for the special zombies. Uh, special zombies to make it a whole lot easier field upgrades really doesn't matter i'd say between like um i'd say ether shrouds the best because this just makes you invincible and you could just shoot them i am going to be using energy mine that's mainly because i have this shit upgraded but i suggest everyone to use ether shroud don't use um energy mine i'm only using it because i have that researched and so yeah we're gonna get into the gameplay okay so firstly when we get into like liberty falls or honestly this works on terminus 2 go for the rampage this will make it to where the zombies come a whole lot faster i just stay up here from like maybe like round one to maybe round five 
depending on how good you are on zombies, you probably want to end it there or you want to just continue. I usually continue until like maybe round 10 or round 13 and then I turn it off. But yeah, you just stay here, headshot. And th th that's basically it. You, we want to stay here for a bit. I'm going to be staying here for a while. But I guess, you know, since uh, this <laughs> there's not much to say here, I'm going to just commentate on what I think about BO6 as a whole. I'm not going to lie, I think I gave it a little bit too much shade when I was making my uh, pro, pro and cons video. I mean, I still gave it a 6 out of 7, but honestly, I think this game definitely has a lot of potential because it, it's really fun. I feel like as long as the DLC uh, maps for BO6 come out and they're actually like good, this is definitely going to be a fire-ass game. I mean, I kind of gave up on the story because the, the story is low-key butt cheeks. But, you know, there's not much to say on that. You can't really make them switch the story or whatever. They, You know, you got to trust the process, I guess. But, uh, yeah, we're going to keep this going. We're going to if you don't want to stay on the roof, you don't have to. I just stay here because it makes it a little easier for me. I know some people actually just like completely stay on the roof. What uh, I like to do is when I'm starting to get overrun, I'd literally just train right here. We want to squiggle squabble right here. For anyone that doesn't know how to train, if you're like a new zombie player, just like you want to take them away from like a corner, even if it's a very thin gap, you want to just take them around and then run in that gap real quick. And that's basically it, your Gucci. I'm going to stay here for a little bit more. I might stay here for one more round on the roof and then start making, start making my way down. And so with that, we already got 28 uh, a headshots. Before I um, continue with the video, the sweet spot for like having a lot of headshots is probably like round um, 18 to maybe like 30, 32, 33 is when they start like actually tanking headshots like crazy. Okay, now they're eating my ass. Yeah, guys. That was actually close. Holy frick, I should have not stayed up there. They were actually going crazy. That that should have my ass sweating, okay. So we just line them up. The thing about this is they get really quick, so we don't want this activated always. There's some, like a couple madmen that like keep that activated all the way to like round 30. To that, I say like they already spawn a lot when it gets to round 30 and you don't have rampage uh, equipped. But yeah, now I'm just going to really go for headshots. You really want Rampage to be on, especially when you have double points. But they're going to, uh, like, low-key overrun right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay here until round 13 because it takes, like, it takes around, like, I say, 7 to 6k to, like, open all the doors to Pack-A-Punch. And so we kind of want to, like, just stay here because we're not going to be able to get Pack-A-Punch either way. And we also don't have enough salvage for um a gun upgrade so it's like it doesn't really make a difference if we stay here or there the only thing i don't like about this map that i do like about terminus it's a whole lot easier to get shot dead shot daiquiri and um and terminus but i've also been playing terminus a lot more than i've been playing liberty falls just because i really don't like the atmosphere of liberty falls that much it just feels like a regular neighborhood there's not like there's there's not much to it one thing that could make this run a whole lot easier, like for anyone that's like trying to max their gun to like gold, if you get a lot of gobble guns, especially the Killjoy gobble gun where you just get insta kills, uh, you want to just like, I guess, run those. And then when you get into high rounds where it's like realistically you're not killing shit just because of how much headshots they tank, just keep on popping Killjoys. And then like with all the zombies that spawn towards um, round like, you know, 30 to 40, you're going to be able to just max that shit out especially when it gets to like you know the ones where it's like oh get like 300 kills get um 10 kills in rapid succession yeah but honestly vermin's a lot easier to headshot than uh than the parasites from terminus so yeah that, that, that's why i low-key run uh liberty falls but honestly it's per personal preference because it doesn't really matter i feel like the um, headshots don't really change that much you're not gonna like get a huge speed playing terminus or playing um liberty falls one thing i well you kind of you kind of do playing liberty falls i'm not gonna lie because you're gonna you have to turn on all the generators to get uh to get uh what's it called to get pack a punch on terminus when in this one you just literally open doors so you could literally stay on rampage for a lot longer in this you could stay on Rampage on Terminus, but it makes it a little harder because then you're going to have to deal with the uh, generator zombies on Rampage. 
and you know usually then you don't have anything upgraded and but you have to focus on actually defending uh a point which makes it a whole lot aids but i mean if you're running ether shroud or if you don't care about literally getting every headshot then it's not gonna be that bad but yeah i feel like liberty falls just makes it a whole lot easier but the thing is that it's just a lot harder to get that shot back free because you gotta wait for the wonder fizz i don't know if they have it uh i haven't played this map a lot so i don't know if that shot daiquiri does spawn somewhere so if you know anyone knows if um where that shot daiquiri like specifically spawns i guess put that down in the comments down below okay so i'm gonna start making my way to uh pack i'm gonna be able to pack my gun now and honestly i want my gun to kill faster and then probably around like 13 or 14 i'm gonna turn this shit off because they're gonna be spawning like fast enough normally you could keep it on for lo uh, longer if you're that much of a goat i guess but um i'm not so I'm just gonna keep this one uh, like on until like round um 13, I'd say. So we just want to get over here. We also want to raise our rarity as well. I mean anything just to buff the damage up. So like when we actually aim at ahead, it just like destroys. Another like tip is like destroy these because these give salvage. It allows you to get your rarity up. Okay, like there we go. Before, I was able to pack. Really like I don't want these guys to block my entrance. And so a really good like farming area is down here. I usually go down here to far uh to just train. You could get the sucker gun. Honestly, the um wonder weapon in this map is very easy to make. But that's just gonna take away from the headshots. Okay, they're running really fast. I remember one time I survived to like maybe round 30 and I had rampage on, and I was always wondering, I'm like, why the fuck are the zombies running so fast? Then I just realized that I had uh rampage on for the whole time. So yeah, we just run in a straight line. This is this is really good because the bus you can use the bus to like narrow out your uh, ward because you can make them hug the, uh, the, chest, the you know bus. Spoiler, the head's all you need. But you know even with rampage they feel like they're spawning in slow. So that's why we want we just want to activate rampage for the, like the first few rounds. You could easily like you could stop it when you're in six or like you know seven. But if you have the skill to survive it until like I guess uh, round. 13 15 20 even you should just keep it on because sometimes they take a while to spawn and this just makes them spawn a whole lot faster the, uh, okay i just need to make my way through these guys right here you just aim head level now we run they almost ate my ass yeah there's a lot of close calls when i play when I put a rampage on for this long. I also got to upgrade the rarity. Right here. And just to show you guys how fast um speed cola with the classic formula reloads, it's actually so much faster. Like get juggernaut right here. This is another reason why I like farming there. Because after uh killing, you know, around you could just go in there and get two like really good survivable perks. Only thing that I kind of want right now is uh, stamina up. That's going to make it a whole lot easier. We don't really need Deadshot Daiquiri right now. We want Deadshot Daiquiri like later on where it actually becomes hard to kill. Like these guys nonetheless like get killed in like literally a couple shots that had like one or two. Or three. And we just run around. I still haven't even upgraded my rarity. I could upgrade my rarity right now. But honestly this is doing like fine enough. So yeah, you want to farm right here. Uh, uh, like one place that's very easy to farm in Terminus that you could do this. I, I might actually just make a separate video on that. So if this, you know, if you guys really like this video, just please um like, sub, you know, activate your notifications. I, you know, it's kind of hard to uh, for any of you guys to see my videos, especially when I'm p competing with uh, you know, actual zombie creators. It's hard to show up when Mr. Waffle Waffles videos are going crazy. Okay, so this is our first mangler. We just want to headshot him. Okay, it's rampage, and they are running on my ass right now. Okay, we just want to. I just want to regen my health, even though like that's Loki like full health. Uh, when you don't have jug, we just don't want to risk it. We do not want to risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, right there we get a lot of headshots. We want to take the mangler out because yeah, he actually gets so annoying later on. Also, when you're just focusing on headshots, 
It's a whole lot easier to like gather up points. I don't think the game. Okay, there we go. Two, uh, two times. Okay, we gotta get that max ammo right there. Yeah, uh, always get like any score streak or anything because honestly, like when you're about to die, it makes it a whole lot easier. You just press three and just survive. You also spawn with um. Self, uh, self revive. Hold up. Just gotta time this right. Okay, there we go. I'm not gonna focus on getting too many headshots right here, though. Proceeds to get every headshot. Okay. Yeah, you just get a lot more points, so if you could aim at the head, just take the head off. We want to maximize uh, points as much as possible. Is that it? No. Okay. Just gave up. I might... Nah, I think I could go a couple more rounds with this on. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna make my way towards uh, stamina. Wait, never mind. I might not. Oh my god, Queef Bajan. Okay, so we're just gonna... We wanna take out this Mangler. He's really gonna be the bane of our existence if we let him live. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was close. Shit had me shook. Yeah, you could uh, like come up here, the, uh, like up those stairs. You could line them up, but the thing about that is that it's like elevated, so it's gonna be hard to get headshots there. So I'm just gonna make my way back. I should have honestly ended rampage. This shit is too hard for me to handle. I'm not that good at the game. But yeah, we're gonna just gather them up here. If you guys are wondering if there's like any other gobble gums to make this whole like easier, like the process. It would probably, like, I mean, double points and all that really do, don't make a difference because even if you get, like, uh, pack a punch or, you know, if you have the, what's it called, the gobble gum that makes your guns go to max tier, it really doesn't make a difference because either way, the zombies are very easy to kill. And you're not really, like, focusing on getting anything but headshot kills, so you don't really even have to open up the whole map necessarily. So it really doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm gonna start heading back to uh, the Rampage. I'm gonna stop that. Because now it's gonna get a little hectic. And I low-key need to buy um, a couple of things. So, we're gonna just make our way back here. I'm gonna get Stamina up. And then... What we're gonna do is we're gonna un unlock that roof over there. So we could get that uh, Wonder Fizz. I think it usually spawns at like around like 20-something. Yeah, okay, we can't open it from here. There we go. Honestly, we're gonna, like, uh, be opening the whole map right now. I'm gonna just take this. I really don't need to get the double pack right now because they're still dying to my own headshots relatively quick. I just need to kind of upgrade a rarity. I think that's gonna make this uh, do a lot more damage. Because if you guys didn't know, uh, like, when you go from, like, white to blue rarity on your guns, you do a whole lot more damage. So, yeah, your gun basically gets ultra buffed when you get into uh, blue. I mean, it still gets buffed when you get into purple and yellow, uh, you know, legendary. But the biggest, like, difference in damage comes from um, going from, like, uncommon to rare. Or, you know, straight up, like, common to rare. So, yeah. That's what. That's why you don't really need to focus on getting that double pack of punch. You just really gotta focus on getting the uh, getting the blue rarity. And as long as you're pack punch once, headshots are fairly easy to get. And I'm not even good at getting headshots. I'm just aiming head level and just strafing left to right, left to right. That's there we go. It makes it a whole lot easier. And when you're playing around these buses, for some reason the um. Mangler it goes kind of retarded mode. There we go. Headshot him too. Collect all the salvage. We're gonna have enough soon to get double pack. We're gonna get it because honestly, at this point, we don't really need our money except for uh, Deadshot Dakri. So I'm gonna just open my way to Deadshot da uh to the Wonder Fizz real quick. Let's see. It's not there yet. I, I don't know what, uh, what time the Wonder Fizz spawns. I know that it spawns around like... 
like round 20 20 something but we don't need it we we honestly it, it, like that shot dark is the most useful when we get into like those you know very high rounds that's when we really need it for the damage because as you guys can see with only like pack one and um rarity blue we we're able to just smoke them honestly okay when he opens his mouth to shoot at like shoot at you you should like if you could memorize what mouth you shot at first to shoot at the other ones to get maximized damage so we i kind of want to avoid him right now because he is literally on my wiener okay squeeze in there give me that head you know just do our thing get the headshots there we go we're at 300 um kills i'm about to run out of ammo soon just gonna take that ammo crate right here there we go close that face that he only has one head left so we're just gonna focus on the zombies until he opens that shit again uh can we open that mouth please he usually opens it at, like a bit after he rams okay okay open that mouth again Okay, there we go, we got him. Okay, so we could get that double points right here. I'm just gonna grab that and then go ham on the headshots. The only reason why I don't really like, um, insta kill, like, uh, early rounds is because these headshots, uh, like, the zombies would armor for some reason. If you shoot them at the head, even, uh, with insta kill, you just don't get a headshot doesn't count for it for some reason i mean it makes a really big difference when you're at a when you're very high rounds because honestly you just gotta get whatever kills you could get but um early rounds there's really no point to getting that i'm just gonna shoot these real quick get salvage okay that's the biggest homie right here Getting hit very unnecessarily right now. Playing like a noob. Okay. We do not want to run into any zombies when we're in that portal. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to... This is going to be more or less the same for a bit. Because we're just going to really wait for Wonderfizz to come. It's this, like, same strat. And then once Wonderfizz comes, we uh, get that shot Daiquiri and we just go crazy on headshots. But, um, yeah, I guess I would, <laughs> I, I, what I, like, I really want to get into, like, speedrunning, like, the Easter eggs, but honestly, I'm not that good at the game. So, we just make them hug the bus real quick. They go into single file line. No, they uh, kind of farmed a little too far. My cat is currently in front of my screen. It's kind of hard to focus. Okay, so we're going to just make our way over here. They're kind of, they're, they're all basically dead at this point. We got double points, I'm just gonna save it for next round. They're, they literally would lift their hands in front of their face before I could headshot them. Yeah, we really don't need, um, points right now. Except for, uh, third pack, but honestly we're not gonna really need third pack in a while, but, you know, extra essence won't hurt. Uh, another suggestion I could give, um, is that, uh, is when you like get a gun or if you're like let's say i um get this to like maybe two not 2k like like 15k headshots and i'm like ooh, i still need to get like 500 headshots left i'd still probably run this gun out at a, like as a loadout and then when you like reach the headshot and you know get gold because there are some other challenges to get gold i low-key kind of forgot but this is mainly going to be like a headshot related video because honestly headshots is probably the hardest thing about this because getting Paris like 30 parasite kills is literally nothing and getting like 100 tacticals is nothing you literally just buy tacticals just went into your pretty high round and then just straight up um oh my god okay so i'm gonna have to cut the video right there and then uh if you guys want to just know what happened real quick uh my cat decided to flop on my keyboard and end my recording and so I'm going to cut the video short because there's not much to add on to the video. I'm going to tell you guys like basically the tips that come after that. You don't really need my gameplay to show it. 
but um basically when you get to that like high of a round like you know past 17 you do want to survive all the way to like round 30 all there was for me to get is level up my gun rarity to legendary and you know repack you know pack until it's purple and then get that shot daiquiri if you guys didn't know and liberty falls the only way to get that shot daiquiri is when the um, the round goes to round 25 and now on top of the roof there's a wonder fizz machine and that's how you're able to get that shot daiquiri i'm probably going to show like a clip right and like probably at the end of this showing you guys how to get it real quick and then um yeah that's basically it uh n another like my absolute last tip and this is probably the most like important tip i should have probably said this uh, well i did say this early in the video but i'm gonna like re-emphasize the best way you want to do this is probably like survive all the way to like round 29 round 30 even 32 maybe and then end the game there you want to like basically finish your first match g getting 1200 kills and then re like start up a new match and then focus on getting 800 headshots and do the challenges that come after that and you're gonna basically have gold in every two matches it's a whole lot easier than trying to do it all in one match because if you try to do it all in one match literally when you get to round 30 it gets very hard to survive after that not hard to survive more so it's hard to get headshots or just hard to do the challenges because your gun starts hitting like a marshmallow and you know when there's manglers spawning literally non-stop and um the three ahead uh, abomination or just regular abominations it gets really hard to like or just get you know focus on headshots when you have to take out like maybe i think i was playing uh, round 32 and there was maybe like six that spawn and you're able you have to take all of those out before you could go back and focus on headshots so yeah when you get to round 32 and then and also if you could have rampage activated have rampage acted activated for most of the run because that will also speed up the process but that really depends on how good of a player you are and the bet that's it for the video that's all the tips i could give this is probably the fastest way to get gold without like glitching or doing any, any of that so if you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and uh thank you guys for watching um yeah the wonder fizz is right here we're just gonna get honestly all the perks well not all i'm gonna